So what is Krita? In the background you can see a quick sketch which I've drawn just to show you the kind of capabilities that Krita has. You usually just start by sketching a very rough sketch and you gradually add more and more detail. Digital painting has all sorts of advantages over regular painting. For example, you can use layers. You have all these different kinds of pens and brushes at your fingertips. You can use all sorts of transform tools. And once you're satisfied with your sketch, you could draw some line art. Have a look at the link in the description for some tutorials. And you could also color it in. And add some shading. One thing I should mention about Krita is that it probably requires a stylus. If you don't have a stylus and you're really eager to try this out, you could do it with a mouse if you're just a beginner, but, on the, but it's going to make it a little bit harder. And on the long run, it's really recommended that you should get a stylus. But if you don't have a stylus now, why not just get started with a mouse? And if you really like it, you can get a stylus later. And you can also use special effects. This software is free and open source and easy to install. If you want to learn digital painting, then I highly recommend Krita.